All right, guys, got the new Mechatronics in, uh, new TCM. Uh, they, they're combined as one. So what we need to do now is fill it up with fluid. In order to fill it, we have to be able to see the transmission fluid temperature. In order to see the temperature, we need to be able to communicate with the TCM with the scan tool. So um, I have the tranny fluid set up to fill it, but we need to put the scan tool on it to make sure we can communicate and call this a fix. So let me get the scan tool fired up and we'll see if we can talk to the TCM. All right, the ignition is on. SOT CC is a CBFA. Just do it with the guided fault finding right now. It's going to do a whole module scan. And what we want to see is see how it talked to the ECM. We want to see it do the same thing for the TCM. Oh, that's a good sign right there we have communication it does have a fault stored go over here DTC memory and the only fault that we have stored is this basic settings not carried out which I haven't done anything with the scan tool yet the first thing we need to do is fill the fluid uh, aside from that we wanted to see if we could talk to it alright so guys this is a fix uh, TCM mechatronics unit fixed it uh, what I need to do now is fill the transmission all right guys, so how you fill this transmission, it is gravity filled. Um, just get a big container, and fill it with the fluid, like I have in here. And then you have to just hold the bottle up and it will gravity feed. You do this with the engine off. And then what you have to do is you start the car and you have to leave your transmission temperature up uh, it has to be less than, I'd say, 30 degrees Celsius because you have to set the fluid around 35. So if it's too high, you can't do it. Because after this fills, we'll start it, run it through all the gears, three to five seconds, and then you put it in park, you lift the car, and when it gets near 35 degrees, you pull uh, the drain plug or pull this tool off, and you let the fluid drain. There is a fill tube inside the drain plug, and that fluid when it ceases flow it should cease flow around 35 degrees and that's when you know it's filled uh, it seems a bit confusing but when I do it uh, hopefully you'll understand so after we fill that then we'll do the basic settings and be done with this alright guys so all I have right here is this coolant jug and it's cleaned uh, we use it for the tranny services um, there's a special tool right here special tool bungee cord <laughs> and pretty much you just fill this and the fluid is going to gravity feed into the tranny just give this a little squeeze and the fluid will flow through this hose and then you can just let it sit once it gets an air pocket up in here then you just open this valve and it just kind of flows in there so uh, I'm gonna let this fill I'm adding there's four quarts in here four liters uh, whatever it is uh, one liter so near a quart of the DSG fluid there's four in there and then after that those four go in I'll add this fifth one and then we'll set the level all right guys so the longest part is filling this since it's gravity fed uh, it just takes a while I just want to show you what I'm gonna be looking at and this is the temperature of the tranny fluid right now and this is when I'm gonna set it in between 35 to 45 I'll probably pull this plug around 33 and then by the time it gets to 35 the fluid will almost be done flowing uh, you'll be able to see that when I do it so after this fills I'm gonna start it up run it through the gears and then um, as the tranny fluid heats up from it running that's that's how we're gonna set the fluid Okay, so you want to get a drain. Uh, right now, my tranny fluid temp is 26 degrees Celsius. Uh, you can see right here, here's the tube where the fluid's going in. 
And then right here is this little adapter. Uh, I forget the actual name. I'll, I'll put the name of it in there. Um, and then, but inside the tranny, there is a fill tube that is in there, and it threads in. I believe on this one, it's an eight millimeter Allen. So let's say, uh, in theory, if you were draining this tranny fluid, you have to pull the drain plug. It will drain out, and then you have to pull this fill tube out to drain the rest of the fluid out. So just to give you an idea. So pretty much what we're gonna do is we overfill the tranny, let it get to a temperature, and we drain it out until it gets to the top of that fill tube level. And that's how you set the fluid on here. So let me check the temp. Right now it's at 30 degrees Celsius. The fan probably keeps kicking on because I didn't clear any of those faults out of there. Uh, we just went straight into the setting the fluid level. But pretty much you want to have all your all your tools ready. Have your drain pan ready. Uh, have your drain plug with the new gasket on it ready. Have your ratchet ready. Now it's at 32. <laughs> All right, it's at 34, so I'm going to pull this. I'm just holding this, just holding my thumb over this. You'll see fluid comes out. Not much. So right now on the scan tool, it says to set the fluid, don't switch it off. And pretty much what it means is pull this, pull this plug. And there's no fluid coming out right now, so this essentially would mean uh, it could be a tiny bit low. Actually, it's just barely trickling out. I maybe should have added one more quart to this. Because um, it, it's barely trickling out. And the actual temperature as it rises, the fluid's gonna come over top of that fill tube and come out. And it's, it's not even trickling now, or barely. So this thing is borderline um, at the level. It may be a hair low. All right guys, so this tranny, it's a hair low. Uh, what I'm gonna have to do is let the tranny cool down. I'll add another quart and then redo this procedure. Uh, I'm not gonna video that. Um, I just wanna finish this one up. I'll do the basic settings, uh, coating the new TCM and uh, call it a day. All right guys, so I'm just gonna do this basic settings real quick. Didn't mean to do that. So we'll go into guided functions. Basic settings of the mechatronics. And then this is tells you what it's all gonna do here. So gear selectors, position sensors, synchronizer points, clutch values, main, pressure output values, tiptronic switches, ESP, CCS, road test, 
we're not going to do the road test. The road test is for uh, clutch adaptations. And it's, I think it's like a 20 minute road test maybe. So let's hit continue. Mechatronic replaced. Yes, we want to execute the function. So move it into park. It is in park. Told me to switch it off. I'm scared to switch it off because I know the battery was super dead. I don't want to switch it off. Okay, operate the brake during the entire basic measurement. Okay, so I'm holding the brake. It's going to check the fluid temp. It's at 52 now. Basic calibration of the gear selector's positions occurs in this step. Continue. So now it's going to do a bunch of stuff, and I just got to keep my foot on the brake. can hear the tranny switching gears. Gear selectors, basic setting. Now it does the synchronizer points. Basic settings complete. Now clutch values. Successfully done. Main calibration of the main pressure output values. With intolerance. Tetronic switches. Reset. ESP. CCS reset. Basic calibration of the system. And now it wants you to do the road test. So we're not going to do the road test. It's just an adaptation of the clutches. Driving every gear, including reverse. Use the Tiptronics. So we're not doing that right now. Alright, so now we have no faults in the TCM. I'm going to code the Mechatronics. We don't have any faults for coding, but I want to do it anyways. Just because we replaced it. Ignition off. My battery is weak. Okay, the coating's 20 and it just checked it and the coating already is 20, so it doesn't need to be coated. So sweet. All right, real quick guys, just want to show you the gateway. Transmission control module, no comm, is now intermittent. Vehicle's running right now, it shifts out of park. So I'll show you the old Mechatronics. Uh, we'll talk about it and just be done. So this is the Mechatronics guys right here. Bunch of solenoids on the front. Uh, a couple valves in here, I guess it is a valve body and uh, the module on the back side. So this is the old one. Uh, the vehicle is fixed. Uh, you can hear it running behind me. The powers and grounds were good. We had a network. We had good network resistance. Uh, 58 ohms. I think spec is 60. That's close enough for me. Um, I showed you how to set the fluid level. That is that, guys. This one is fixed. There's no faults. They're all cleared. Uh, I just got a road tested. Uh, 
do basic settings for like steering wheel light and traction lighter on, which they'll go out when I drive it as from the battery die. I hope you guys enjoy this video and thanks for watching.